Hello, this is Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching guiding, writing, and lecturing on fly fishing since 1982. Well, let's get to this week's fly fishing report. Wintertime, weather's always a big issue. We finally have snow in the mountains. Owens Valley, we got rain. Up in the upper elevations, they got snow. Did they get a lot? Not really. They got a lot more than we've had, but particularly compared to like last year, we didn't get a ton of snow. But it's a good start to a good snowpack, and that'll mean good fishing for next year. So let's talk about fishing. Upper Owens River. Well, there's enough snow on the ground. I kind of think I'd be careful driving in there. I think I'm on a park just outside of the... Um, Benton Crossing area and kind of walk in. Um, I'll wait and see what other people do. If they make tracks and if it's really that drivable. I always got a little questionable first storm on the two. Is it drivable or is it going to be, hey, I need to get pulled out because I got stuck. But let's talk about the fishing. Well, if you walk in, you're going to find that the fish are in the deep holes, deep holes, deep runs. That's where we're finding the trophy fish. They're spread out because we've been driving in there. Those fish have had a lot of fishing pressure. So you're really going to have to work and find those fish and work the holes hard to get your fish. 50, 100 casts is not too many casts to get a fish. And what am I fishing with? Well, for me, I like big morsels to offer the fish. So I'm fishing a size 12 stoner nymph, a size 12 green gold prince nymph, and then we're using a gold ribbed hair's hair variation that my guide Richard has developed, and that's working. Okay, what else is working up there? Well, a lot of guys like to work egg patterns, squirmy wormies, and San Juan worms, particularly in red or an orange color. Okay, let's talk about Hog Creek. Well, same kind of thing. Careful driving out there. Drive in as far as you think you can, but don't get yourself stuck. And then from there, walk out, go fish the creek. Go fish in the canyon. Okay, so what are we doing in there? Well, we're nymphing. Primarily this time of the year, we're using midge patterns. The midge patterns I use the most are tiger midges, zebra midges, blood midges, and brassies and soft tackle brassies. And then there's a fair number of blueing olive mayfly nymphs that are in the water. So I also throw some form of that, which for me, I'm using size 18 beadhead flashback pheasant tails, and I'm also using size 16 and 18 olive quildagons. Well, let's drop down the hill. We've been getting rain, not snow, down here in the Owens Valley and the Lower Owens River. It's a little bit off color, but it's fishing good. Last time I was out, which was right after the, right in the middle of the two storms, right after the last storm that came through, and guess what? I caught five fish in an hour, so for me, it's still fishing good. And what am I fishing in there? Well, I'm using my same three flies. All of Quildagon, Stoner nymph, and then a hot spot pheasant tail nymph, and that's working for me. The other flies I like fishing in there are tiger midges, zebra midges, and a beadhead flashback size 18 pheasant tail nymph. Well, let's talk about Bishop Creek Canal. Not a whole lot to talk about. It's as low as it gets, and it's pretty clear a little bit of um, discoloration from the runoff off the ground into the creek and then into the canal. And so it's not fishing any better than it was, which is to say fish are super spooky. The water's really down low and clear, so we're just not really doing much in there. So I'm not really recommending fishing Bishop Creek Canal right now. Well, this has been Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service, and I can be found on Instagram, Facebook, or on LPPTV.us.